Hi there, in this session we're going to be taking a look at the whiteboard. The whiteboard is our Kanban interface that displays all of our actions as individual sticky notes as if they were stuck to a whiteboard in the office and we're able to drag and drop those to move them from one value to another, for example on the status field. We're going to be drilling into all of the features in more detail, but at a high level let's take a look at the various features that the whiteboard offers. We're able to dynamically adjust the column headings. We can also dynamically specify which summary field we want to show at the top of the whiteboard. If we need to, we can jump in and collaborate with colleagues via the Action Chatter feed. We're also able to manage the individual checklist items underneath each individual action. We can log our time or track time in real time via the whiteboard. We can also edit actions directly on the whiteboard as well as managing the contributors via the resource assignment wizard. If we need to, we can add new actions to any project in the system directly from the whiteboard. We also have the ability to reassign ownership from one person to another and we'll also take a look at how you can use the filters and settings to customize the whiteboard for your own preferences. Let's take a quick look around the page to familiarize ourselves with the various tools we have available. Up in the header section I can see that I've by default downloaded 250 of my 304 actions that are currently being displayed on the whiteboard. If I want to load in more, I simply click on the download button to load in additional records. Here is where I specify which field I want to be used as the column headings. We'll look at how we can change that in a moment. Next to that is the summary field. Again, I can choose to specify which field on the action object I want to have as my summary field. Here is where I access any filters that I want to apply to the whiteboard and this is where I can access the settings. The reset board button allows me to reset the entire whiteboard by removing any filters. I also am able to add new actions to any project directly from the whiteboard by clicking the add actions button. Down on the right hand side we, we get to see a list of all of the roles that we have in Mission Control and their profile picture is being displayed. I'm able to filter down as well if I need to find specific users. Now looking at the main section of the whiteboard, the blue bar is showing me the pick list values from within the status field which is currently being used as the column heading. Within the brackets I can see how many actions I've currently got in each of those status values. Underneath that, this number is the summary field. This is currently set to total hours remaining. Within each section I can see all of the actions displayed as individual sticky notes. Looking at an individual sticky note, let's see what's available to us. I have the PAN number so I can quickly identify the action that I'm dealing with. I also have links through to the action, the milestone and the project if I want to quickly jump in for more detail. By default there are an additional five values pulled in from the action object. They are the start date, the end date, at total hours scheduled, total hours completed and completion percentage. We'll take a look later as to how we can actually adjust these values. I also have an action uh, end date warning appear if the action end date is approaching within the next two days. Over here I can see who is the action owner and this icon indicates that this action has contributors. Other things available to me on each individual card are the action chatter feed, the checklist items, logging time and the ability to edit the action. If I'm working on an action I can simply drag and drop the sticky note and move it to the next progress value. If I need to reassign ownership of one action from one person to another I can do that directly from the whiteboard using the roles section on the right hand side. You can see here for example that this action is on hold and that could potentially be because of Chris's capacity. So what I can do on the right hand side is find the person that I want to give the action to and I can drag and drop them on top of the card. 
prior to doing that I might need to actually filter down to find someone with the right skill set or right team membership so I just click on the filters button here that allows me to search for the right person with the right skills and who's a member of the right team you can see now I've got a much shorter list of people and I'm able to drag and drop the person I feel is most relevant to take on that new action just by dragging and dropping their, their photo onto the action card I've been able to reassign it and now I can move that back into in progress for each individual action I'm able to access key things relating to the to the record for example I can jump into the chatter feed where I'm able to collaborate with colleagues I also have the ability to access and manage the action checklist I'm able to add new checklist items I'm also able to tick items off as and when they've been completed as I do that I'm dynamically getting a summary of how many action, action checklist items have been completed I'm also able to log time against the action from the whiteboard simply by, by clicking the log time icon. I'm able to specify whether it's overtime, whether it's non-billable. I can enter notes and I'm able to specify how many hours I've spent working on the action. Alternatively, instead of logging time historically, I'm able to start tracking time. This will record the point in time when I click the button and then I'm able to come back and click stop when I'm finished. In this instance I'm going to be just logging time historically. I can also edit the action record directly on the whiteboard simply by clicking the pencil icon. I can make adjustments to all of the key fields on the record I can also see that this has contributors associated to it so if I need to manage the contribution that any of these people are making I can also jump into the resource assignment wizard I'm able to make adjustments to people's contribution I can even search for additional users who may be able to be pulled in to assist If I need to add a new action to a project I can do that directly from the whiteboard by clicking the Add Actions button. First of all I select the project, I then select the milestone, I enter the name, I'm also able to assign the person to be the action owner. If I need to I can jump into the resource assignment wizard to add in contributors as well. I can then enter the rest of the information for the record. Once the record is ready I simply click on save. If I want to adjust the heading I simply select from the fields available here. For example if I want to change to priority I simply select that from the list. As you can see it's readjusted all of the actions and now displaying them based on their priority value. I'm able to drag and drop any one of these actions to reset the priority for that individual record. I also have the ability to adjust the column heading for any one of these fields on the action object. In addition to these, any of the custom pick list fields you may have added into your own system will also be available. You'll see here that milestone is currently greyed out. In order to be able to organize the actions based on their milestone, I first of all need to filter down to an individual project. I can filter down by clicking the filter button here. Now that I've filtered to one particular project I can select the milestone as an option for the column headings. 
What this enables me to do is reparent the actions from one milestone to another. As I do that, you'll see the total hours remaining gets reapportioned to the relevant column. I mentioned earlier that these five fields are able to be adjusted if these aren't presenting the values on the action record that you want to see. To adjust any one of these values, simply go to the settings icon up in the top right here, click on the button, and you have access to any of the other fields on the action record and you can specify the values required for your own preferences. In this example I'm going to change completion percentage to priority. You'll see that the priority value has now been displayed on the card. If I want to restore back to the original settings I can simply click on the icon again, press reset and that will change back to the original values.